Connie and Fish. Hello, my name is Nick. I'm a Connie and Fish intern. Today I'll be reading the top five-ish uh, secrets. Today's topic is what's your secret to a happy marriage? So number one, never go to a bed angry and sleep in your birthday suit. Nobody fights in the birthday suit. I mean, you can't really argue with that. Who would ever punch someone who doesn't have any clothes on? It's kind of with like, like who would punch someone with glasses on? I feel like. so <laughs> there why, you go. Why would you ever argue with that? <laughs> the next one is uh, make sure you still have your own time with friends and doing things you enjoy on your own. Balance time together and time apart wisely. Otherwise, you start driving each other frogging crazy and will end up like one of those ID shows Connie watches. <laughs> you could just be the next Fatal Vows or Wives with Knives. I, mean, I I totally respect that. You, you're, you're still your own person even though you married someone. It's like the collaboration of two people, not... You just give your your soul to that other person. Like I I don't I don't feel that. So right. I, I think that's a that's some good good advice right there. And have you ever seen any of those shows that she mentioned from the ID channel? I have not. No, I really haven't. Okay, I call it murder porn because oh, it's goodness. basically just an entire show about someone murdering someone else. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's pretty aggressive. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty good shows, <laughs> apparently. I don't know. I don't watch them. Man. Anyway, go on. All right, next, <laughs> next one. So I'm not married, but my mom always tells me 90% of your life you should share with each other, and the other 10% you should keep in the bathroom. Keep the mystery alive. <laughs> I mean, what, whatever you need to do to, like, spice it up or keep your own personal space, I guess that's cool. I don't I really understand what they're referencing there, but... I think it's, uh, don't... Tell me about your diarrhea, okay. maybe. That's I probably, don't know. That's probably good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's your time. Like, what happens in the bathroom by yourself stays in the bathroom by yourself. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, next one. Today is my 20-year wedding anniversary. If my husband has learned anything, it's I'm usually right. Oh, and communication is key. <laughs> I mean... As a communications major, I can say that's like the key to everything, every human interaction. You just need to talk to them. Stupid arguments form off of just not saying stuff. So yeah, that's, All right. that, that one's real. That one's real. Next one, the key to ha happy marriage is to wake up every morning to a blowjob. Oops, I mean speaking into the microphone. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I don't know what kind of marriage that person's in, but that's pretty cool. Sounds like they have a quite exciting life. They yep. must be like a lawyer or realtor that travels across the world or something. <laughs> they have that, that type of wake up. Man, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> All right, and the last one is my parents said their secret was trust and understanding. She didn't trust him and he didn't understand her. <laughs> Sounds like they have some some... Lots of stuff in common there. Uh, <laughs> There's some trust and understanding some, issues, some, maybe. Yeah, something like that. They must have uh, must still be happy or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they have some good stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. That's it. Thank you. It's a wrap. Connie and Fish.